hello wordpress people so welcome back to another playlist called wordpress gutenberg block so in the previous video we saw that how we can create a simple block using simple uh, command so we already saw that now in this video we are going to talk about block attributes block attributes are the most important part of the block development so basically attributes are the information stored in the block and uh, so by looking at the attributes we can have the idea of what kind of data we are storing for the particular block we are developing so let's jump into the code before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so before jumping into the code I am going to change my theme so it's unfair to use this old theme for blog development and now I'm gonna activate this 2023 theme which is called blog theme people say it blog theme so I will use this theme as well so again I'm gonna open post we created post previously so while this is opening I'm gonna open our last created plugin which was which was uh, yeah BWP search and I'm gonna open the terminal so before starting any code let me run this command npm start So it's necessary to run this command um, while you are developing it, it generates the build folder files sorry build files and uh, keep running the block so I'm gonna add new and before uh, adding let's get rid of this so attribute is it's an information about the data stored by block so in our previous video I showed you that uh, in the src folder index.js there are two functions which is edit and save edit is for editor and save is for the saving data into the database so I'm gonna open the edit.js and in the next tab I'm gonna open save as well so this file is responsible for displaying block in the editor and save is the file responsible for saving data inside the database okay so this is the basic and I'm gonna open the block dot JSON where we can find our attributes so if I go to edit.js we see that we use this set attribute and in set attribute we have this parameter called message so where did this come from so this come from this comes from here block dot json in the attribute section so if you see that we have this code block for message 
so message is is, is an attribute and this is the property like meta information about attribute so what do we understand by this so this message attribute is a string type source is text so source will be what we use over here so here we are using text control so that's why we are using text if we use any HTML uh, if we are using any HTML stuff over here and we expect the HTML input then we can use source HTML like then the selector is div so in the save function we added div as a selector so <coughs> this is kind of information like from where we store this data so this will be stored for the text purpose only so this attributes we can define as much as we want but let's keep message at the moment now this attributes will pass in this edit function as well as save function but in the edit function we have another attribute which is set attribute uh, another parameter which is set attribute so this set attribute function sets the value in that particular attribute on particular event in this case in the text control it sets the value on change event of this text so on change event it sets the attribute value to whatever we write in the text control so let me console log this here so that you can understand properly so here now I uh, log attribute and if I go here let me refresh this page so this attribute part we need to understand uh, properly because that is what we need in the future videos so understanding of attribute is uh, attribute is important now here I'm gonna add our block BWP search and uh, this is the text box we get here and I'm gonna open console so currently <coughs> sorry so we we created this log over here so we are seeing this object but it's an empty object at the moment now let's add something okay uh, it's adding omgy oh sorry I added this as well okay sorry I was adding I was trying something but yeah at the moment just ignore this attribute at the moment just keep an eye on this message so we change something in the text so this value is set in the message attribute why because because on change we are setting attribute of message with the value we are entering in the this text field so that's that now same thing when we save it we are using attribute dot message so attribute dot message over here in between two divs so when we save this let me add so when we save this it will save this value whatever we write over here in between div tag so if I open the php my admin 
and ID number is this let's copy the ID oops sorry If I go to post table, I'll open the post. Search for that ID. And if I copy this post content, so let me show you what we get in the post content. So if you can see in the post content, we get this div class uh, sorry div in between div what we write over here is displaying there because in the save function we set message attribute in between this div block and this uh, class come by comes by default uh, it is it is according to our block name so and yeah this is using block props so in the next videos we will be learning what this is this video is all about attributes so this is how attribute works let me revise revise this so attributes we can first define in the block.json it's just uh, give an idea to how your data is going to store in the block and then that attributes are used in the edit function and save function over here in the edit function uh, we have to set attribute uh, set value to an attribute otherwise uh, value won't be set and it won't be stored okay so that is that's that now let's add another attribute called test and test uh, let's say type is string and I'm not gonna add any any other thing over here and in the edit.js on the change on change let's get rid of this on change event let's set test with the same value so in the test attribute we will get the same value whatever we write in the text box will be set in this test okay and then we are not going to use this in in this um, save function we will just set this attribute so I'm gonna refresh the page So after setting new attribute, we will see how it will store data in the database. This is all about how attributes are stored in the database. So now I'm gonna remove this value. And now let's add another, another attribute. So we have only message over here but we don't have the um, test attribute why something is wrong I guess yes our something went wrong so uh, npm stop running so let's make npm start Okay, let's keep this tab open somewhere 
yeah because i was writing something and if i save anything uh, without completing the whole syntax it runs it throws the error and stop the npm so now it should be fine i'm gonna refresh this page again So yeah, this is why it is necessary to keep running the npm. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the value. And as you can see on change, it is setting the value to message and test. So I'm gonna add new ttr so as you can see message and test is test are there now if i update the value we will see the stored data in this so now if i copy this i will paste it right below this so as you can see our this message attribute is here and the test attribute is here in the comments why this is in the comment because we haven't defined source of this attribute so whenever we don't define any source it will print the attribute over here and if we define source like this we define source this source for the message text so it is not displaying in the comments so this is the difference when we define source and we don't define source so this is the basic of attribute and whenever you define the attribute you have to um, you have to define either type or either enum like this enum with possible values for that particular particular attributes so this we will learn in future but it's just an just uh, giving heads up that at least you need to define a type or uh, enum so this is all about the attribute I mean not all about but basics of attribute and in the making in the process of making our plugin of search block we will learn a lot of things which will necessary but yeah at the basic level for the attributes just remember define the attribute over here type source selector so why this div selector over here because in the save in the save function we are defining div let's say we are using any image tag img let's assume an src is equal to sorry src is equal to this message so in that case in that case it's just uh, just an idea in that case selector will be img tag so i hope this gives you an idea of how attribute works in the block wordpress block and this is the video guys if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section plug in for this um git wrapper for this plugin uh, link is into the description section also playlist link is into the description section thanks for watching the video guys